I want to talk about what I truly believe to be a top three best melee weapon in the entire game, the Mark VII Shovel. This weapon combines the amazing horde clearing potential of the original shovel with the amazing single target and armor damage of the flip shovel and puts it into one weapon. Somehow they thought that wouldn't just be a direct upgrade to 90% of the weapons in the game, but whatever. So how should you build this? I'll pretty much always skull crusher and decimator and I'll explain why. Take a swing and thrust would make for a really phenomenal boss killing setup, like arguably just as good as the power sword level of boss killing. But there's a problem with that. If you try to do specifically the alternate heavy attack after a push, this happens. Your arms literally fucking break as they wrap around themselves uh, to make that animation play because for some reason it doesn't just lead into this attack. I, I don't know why. I don't know if that's a bug or intentional. But that stops one potential build. So that's kind of why you always want to go Skull Crusher Decimator. Uncanny sucks here. Hammer Blow Impact. All or nothing. You shouldn't be running out of stamina. And all the impact stuff sucks. Limb Splitter is bad because why use Limb Splitter when you could just use Skull Crusher? And Skull Crusher is really good on this weapon because if you look at this right here... Uh, one alternate attack gives you eight stacks. And yes, I did just two-shot a Crusher with no Carapace damage. That's why this thing is really, really good. So, let me show you the horde clear, because I've heard people say, even in my own Discord, that the shovels don't have great horde clear. They don't have great horde clear because you're probably not using it the right way, or just building it the right way. So, I really like weak spot damage, and I'll explain why in a second, but let me just give you a demo of the horde clear with this. Now, mind you, this is without reciprocity. Reciprocity gives you that 25% crit chance, which makes this even better. So, you know, that's what clearing, like, an Auric Maelstorm 30 dense mob horde is like. It, not very many swings at all. And the reason why I mention Reciprocity is because unlike the shitty-ass Power Sword, uh, this weapon can actually benefit from it. So this weapon can do some really funky stuff, getting to, like, a base 60% crit chance while keeping its really solid blessings. And, you know, crit gives you more of all of that, which, let it, which lets it clear, honestly, as fast as the Power Sword. I keep mentioning the Power Sword because, for some reason, people think that's, like, the gold standard of how good a weapon should be, for some reason. Anyway... So, here's why weak spot damage really matters, because without it, you can't one-shot mutants. Don't believe me? Let me just pull one out. This one is crit damage and flak damage. And, uh, mutants have exactly 18 health. So, not only should- do I think melee weak spot damage is a genuinely great blessing in the first place- or perk in the first place, it allows you to one-shot mutants, which means this can one-shot every single special in the- game which is uh you know with zero investment it can well almost zero investment and if you want to one shot these guys you just hit once proc skull crusher four there you go one taps these guys one taps those guys i don't think it'll one tap these guys even with uh, a hit oh no it does yeah okay i don't fight those guys too often but yeah and so you know it'll one tap all of this stuff It'll, uh, I think it needs to hit these guys once to one tap them with the light. Yeah, so if you're just like running sliding you do something like this Yeah, it's the same for both the gunners I tend to not melee gunners very often because it's just a lot easier for me to just do stuff like you know that anyway um, These guys they kind of struggles against maulers a little bit You can do this trick for a little extra damage, but it's just not worth it uh, this weapon is at its best when you prep it with, like, a grenade. That way you can get stacks of Skull Crusher going. And you can just, like, one-shot it like that because you have a lot more Skull Crusher to work with. Or you do something like this. It's also amazing with Focus Target. Where does this weapon struggle? It, it's not good against Bulwarks for whatever reason. Just kind of sucks versus them, frankly. You know, it's just, just, eh. Same thing with Reapers, but are you running up to a Reaper with a shovel and, you know, sticking into them? Also, just like the old chain weapons, you cannot dash out of this attack, so you have to commit to it. That is a genuine downside. And that's the only thing that's separate- that's the only reason why this weapon is not better than, like, the Devil's Claw or the Knife. Because they can output just about the same level of damage to most all enemies without that huge commitment. Uh, I don't think there's too much more I want to say. 
yeah, uh, this weapon is fucking amazing. If you really want to do the whole Krieg thing, just use this. This is one of the worst melees in the entire game. Like, it's, it's really bad. Uh, it genuinely, it cannot deal with armor, like, in any fucking capacity. It, no, like, seriously, it really just can't. This weapon is horrible. And it has the exact same attack pattern as the other one. And, uh, this one has really bad light attacks. Like, this is not, you know, this is not dealing with the horde at all. And its heavies are even worse. This weapon just lacks horde clear. Whereas this has the benefit of having these really good, perfect left-right attacks with the occasional downstrike. And that downstrike does a shit ton of damage, by the way. Like, we're talking, like, can one-shot the flak armor trash mobs amount of damage. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay, almost. It almost one-shots fucking flak armor trash. With just a regular light attack and no blessings. You you start building like Decimator Skull Crusher. And this thing will start to, uh, you know, absolutely destroy. And then you can also just use the Heavy. Because the Heavy for some reason half health these, halves the health on Flak Armored weak spots without, you know. Without even proccing your blessings. But yeah, this weapon's really, really, really solid. 